Come on, JJ. Come visit more often. We will always be waiting for you here. Don't worry. You will never come at the wrong time. See you next time. Phew. It was a great day, wasn't it, Freya? Now we can go back home. You seem very tired. You should have said that you were tired. We would have left sooner. Good night to you. What a wonderful day it was. Now I can sit down and watch TV in peace. My favorite TV series is about to go. I only miss the snacks for the movie, but my stomach is so full. I can't fit anything in me. It was just terrible, but what happened next is just a shock. This mimic dweller decided that he didn't have enough of it, so he moved on. And he decided to visit our house. What a nightmare. If I had only noticed that he came into our house, I would have immediately taken a gun and shot him. But my family and I slept very tightly. That's why we didn't notice anything at all. The most terrible thing was the way he looked at everyone in this house. It scares the crap out of me. If only I knew all this right away. But he didn't do anything. I don't know why he did that. Maybe he just wanted to scare everyone in this house. Or maybe he just decided it was for the best. <sighs> hmm? Who's calling so late at night? Does someone need something from me? But you have to call in the morning. That's why I'm not picking up the phone. How I want to sleep. Why wake me up? How does everyone sleep at home? They seem to be fine. Poor people. They must be very tired. Let them sleep. If someone calls again, I'll just throw this phone out the window and let no one else be able to reach me. It's better than me waking up every couple of hours because of some nonsense. Whew! I think that now I can go to sleep since no one will call me anymore. At least that's what I thought, because this dweller was in the attic of my house, and I didn't seem to know it. But what he did there just scares me even more. Why did he do this, and why didn't I notice it at night? Even though the smell from there was just disgusting. It seems that no one dared to call me again. It's good that I turned off the phone. Hmm? What the? Where is my family? What happened here last night? And why are there traces of blood? What a horror. Who did this? Why did he do that? I won't just leave it like that. I will definitely find the one who stole them all. What? What are the police doing here? Hmm? It seems something terrible happened at Mikey's house too. I should go inside and check it out, because it's not all random. What is this terrible smell? What happened here anyway? Why are there so many animal corpses here? Mikey, do you know anything about this, hmm? Huh? JJ, what are you doing here? Sarah should have woken me up. What the? Where are they? Where have they gone? And what is that terrible smell standing here? What a nightmare. Where have they gone? JJ, they've gone somewhere. Someone stole them. Because where did these traces of blood come from? What happened here? <laughs> Mikey, you need to calm down. Because no one can help us now. We have to figure it all out for ourselves. Because it also happened to my family. They were all gone when I woke up this morning. And it seems that your family has disappeared as well. Which means that the same person did it. We need to find out how and who did it. JJ, so you have security cameras at home. Let's just go and see them. Then we'll find out who or what did it. How angry I am at him now. If I find out who it was... What? What kind of monster is this? What a nightmare. It seems to be a mimic dweller. Was he at my house? He was here while I was sleeping. What is he doing there? It seems he was just walking around the house. What an idiot. How could this even happen? Where do we get dwellers in the village? They haven't been here for hundreds of years. Look over there. It seems this mimic dweller has gone to your attic. It turns out that maybe he's still there. Either we will find him there or we will find the answer to our questions. Because we need to hurry. These cameras were filmed at night and it's already noon. Wait, Mikey, take your time. We don't know if he's there or not. We have to be very careful. Anything can be there. Mm -hmm. ah! oh. You're next. What a horror. Is it all written in this guy's blood? 
How disgusting it looks! Right up to the goosebumps! What does he want from me? And what kind of TV is this, anyway? I think he called you on this phone! And this TV is here for a reason! Let's see what happens if we turn it on! Alright! What? what? What a terrible scene this is in front of us! This is the same Mimic Dweller! What does he want to do? Don't even think about doing that! What are you doing? Do you want to burn them? Are you really sick? Mikey, it's just unbearable to watch! JJ, it's impossible to watch! It seems to be his lair, and most likely it is not so far away! Rather, we take all these records and go to the police! Because without them, we won't be able to deal with him! Follow me quickly! How he pisses me off! I want to kill him with my own hands! But we don't have anything to do! You're right! If the police can't do anything, then we need to do it! <laughs> what the? What's going on here? Why is this officer sleeping? Is he a complete idiot? It seems that we need to do everything with our own hands. Come with me. We'll take the weapons from their weapons warehouse. Mm -hmm. Look at all these weapons. I didn't even know that such a thing existed. I'm so glad that we have it all. Now we can definitely beat this mimic dweller. I'll finish him off as soon as I see him. Follow me quickly. I think I can guess where their lair might be. Do you think it's in the well? Although it's even obvious. Then let's jump in there before it's too late! We have no choice! Let's jump now! Follow me! Alright! <laughs> and luckily for us, Mikey was right! Because there was a terrible smell of blood in this place! And a lot of terrible things happened here! What a nightmare! It turned out that there were more of these Dweller Mimics here than we thought! But it wouldn't have stopped us anyway! Because we were going to save our families! And even the fact that there was a whole army of them here, it even annoyed us. How I wanted to kill them all. Mikey, did you hear that? It seems there are more of these Dweller Mimics here, but that won't stop us. Come here, you stupid monsters. We'll finish you all off in a couple of minutes. You shouldn't have thought that you could just steal our families and get out. We found you a place and came here only to kill you all. JJ! These weapons are just incredible! I didn't even think it would be so easy! Let's shoot them all soon! I can already hear the screams of Sarah and Mikey Jr. I hate to hear all this, but it's going to stop soon. I don't even know how many more people they managed to kill. But we will take revenge on you for all of them. How many of you are here? Are you so weak that you can't even attack one at a time? It's only with such a big crowd that you have a chance against Mikey and me. I knew you were just pathetic monsters who only attack the weak. And as soon as someone strong attacks you, you immediately decide to attack with an army. JJ, it turns out that this is not the whole of their army! Look up! There's a whole bunch of them out there! I don't believe it's all true! It's just a nightmare! I'm so tired of you already! If I could blow you all up, I would have blown up this den long ago! Who? The main thing is that our families are still alive and everything is fine with them. I am so glad that you are alive and well. Yep. I think the series really helped me, hmm? JJ, are you still awake? Great. Then I have a great idea what we can do right now. I hope you're as excited as I am. Because what do you see here is an abandoned prison, or what is it? I don't even know, but I'm so curious about what's inside. I don't like it. Are you sure this place is abandoned? What if there are ghosts there? They might kill us or something. Turn us into ghosts too. JJ, are you scared? You wanted to be a hero. Do you know that heroes are not afraid of such places? They're going there to kill the monsters that might be there. But you better not worry. There are unlikely to be any monsters or ghosts here. You know that all this is just nonsense. Well, there are traces of blood. Aren't you really afraid of that? I understand that there are instruments for music here, but it scares even more than just blood. I think someone was definitely here before us. JJ, did you hear it too? There's something or someone up there. Let's go and see what's in there. I think if there is someone there, then we can make a couple of videos and show everyone about this place. Good, but I'd rather go home to sleep. What is there here? Hmm? Some stands with glasses and soda machines. Nothing particularly interesting. Did you find something there? I found a Coke! Do you want to? But I'm more confused by this hole in the middle of the room! What do you think it's for here? 
It's not a fire station, is it? Then why is there this hole here? Let's go even higher and try to find out what kind of building it is. I'm shaking. I don't like this place. Mikey, do you see these traces of blood? Look, there's some kind of ward. Uh -huh. Huh? Ah! Whoa. What is that? Mikey, this is definitely the last thing I would like to see in this place. We need to get out of here now. I knew we should have promised that sign to break the door. Uh -huh. Huh? You shouldn't be here. What are you doing here? Hmm? Get out of here quickly before I take you to the police station for breaking into a building under police protection. Good. We understand you, officer. I'm sorry for doing this. My friend just wanted to take a walk and we happened to be in this place. Mikey, let's go home fast. I told you we shouldn't go to this place. Should you have gone to an abandoned police station that is also under police protection? JJ, I didn't know this place was so important. You didn't know either, much less. But I'm more interested in why is he there? Are they hiding something there? Now I definitely won't be able to sleep until I find out what's in there. Don't even think about going there while I'm sleeping. <laughs> That's great that they took off. I thought I'd have to shoot them. But the main thing is that they won't find out what they were doing here. Maybe we should put night watchers here to keep an eye on this place. It's a pity that this place was abandoned without any results. But that's fine. That's less trouble. It's time for me to go home. Hmm? What are you doing here? Who are you? Get out of here quickly before I shoot you. Everyone at headquarters urgently. I'm Adam in an abandoned house. Send everyone here and the journalists too. Some kind of ghost appeared here. This is not a joke. Do I look like a clown or something? Listen to me. Hello again from your favorite reporter, Alice. Today I was told that Officer Adam discovered something that could just blow your mind. That's why we're standing in this place and there's an abandoned lab behind us. Please, Officer Adam. Thank you, Alice, for everything you said. I want to warn all our residents that if you see something very strange and not logical, please immediately report it to the police. I will personally interrogate you. I want to say that tonight, when I was patrolling this place, I was attacked by some kind of creature, and this creature was definitely not a man. I just can't believe my ears. Have you heard all this? If our Chief Officer Adams said that, that means it's all true. Please take care of yourself and your loved ones. Mm. Hmm? Mikey, where did you go? Or are you already awake and cooking breakfast? Mikey, do you hear me? You can't go out in the middle of the day. Where are you now? If you can hear me, then answer me now. I'm starting to worry. Huh? Where did it come from here? Did you dig it all up yourself? Do you hear me? I don't think so. It's good that I have healing potions in my chest. With this, I will definitely be able to cure you and bring you to your senses. Now wake up quickly and tell me about everything that happened here. I'm pretty sure you couldn't have done that. JJ, you're right. I am shocked by this myself. I see that there are a lot of skeletons lying here, and it could have appeared here overnight. It's just incredible. We need to find out who did this, because the night I was here and just passed out. How do we find him? Hmm? JJ, did you install cameras here? You're just a genius. How lucky we are. Now we just need to open the records and see who could have done it. I don't think it was you. All right. That's me standing here at night. I was trying to replenish our potion supplies. At some point, I do not know what happened, but I fell off my feet. What? What is that? Where could this have come from? You don't seem to remember that, but we're lucky that we have the camera footage. Now with that, we can just go to the police and report it. I just heard on the radio that the same thing happened to the officer. He noticed some kind of monster in the building that you and I were in, which means he knows it's not fake. I hope he can figure it out. I hope he can do it too. I just remember how I suddenly fell off my feet and passed out. You should have known how scared I was then. I hope Officer Adam can help us. Let's go in and tell him about it. I'm afraid of him. Have you come to surrender? You're the ones who were in the abandoned building at night, hmm? What is that? Ha! Huh? Where did you get this recording from? Have you already encountered this monster? I can't believe it. Stay here. It seems that he wants to kill this monster too. We are lucky. Stay here and don't go into your house for a couple of days. What? A few days? Is he kidding me? Then where should we sleep? That's great! <laughs> Urgently, everyone stand here and do not let anyone in. 
because the monster I met back then was discovered in this building. I hope my team is clear to everyone. We need to wait for a special group to fight such monsters. Did you hear that? It's just incredible. If something happens to Officer Adam, then we must immediately take measures to combat this monster. Do you understand how important this operation is for all our villagers and for the whole village? There will be an operation with this monster in this basement. That's why we can't let ordinary people die here. You must be ready to run away from here at once on one signal. I hope you understand this better, and you guys have to keep your guns ready to shoot the monster right away. Did you hear that too? Officer Adam wants to fight this monster alone. Has he gone completely crazy? He won't be able to do it. I know this monster. I just remembered that this monster came here from another world where he is considered strong, which means that in our world, he is even stronger. We have to help him now before something happens to him. It's good that there are weapons in our basement with which we can go there right now. Mikey, Put on your armor and put it on as soon as you get it. And we also have a bunch of interesting weapons with which we can kill this monster. I hope that we will be able to do it. JJ, it will be very dangerous. But this does not mean that we will not succeed. If we can't do it, then there will be other people who can do it. So let's not get discouraged and not waste time thinking about it. Good, I get you. Then go right now. Phew, this monster is very scary. I can't believe we're going to fight him now. Hey, you dumb monster. If you think that you can do whatever you want in our basement, then you are very wrong. Because we just have to kill you here and now. JJ, shoot him while I distract him. He won't be able to hit us if he can't see properly. So shoot him with everything we have. If necessary, I can throw a grenade at him. If and went to the shooting range. Who knew we were still so good at shooting? So we went and found out all this today. It was a very memorable day. I hope it will be the same tomorrow. Mm. Hmm? Who could be calling so late at night? What kind of a freak is that? Should I pretend I didn't hear? What if it's something important? Hey, I think I'll have to answer. Hmm, it says here that this number is unknown. And who is it? Hello, it's JJ who's calling? Hello, can you hear me? Maybe they got the wrong number? But what are those sounds outside? The feeling that someone is walking. The strange thing is that I definitely heard something. Maybe it seemed to me, okay. But who is calling anyway? If this is such a prank? Whoa. No, this is definitely not a prank. What a nightmare. I'll take the guns right now and wait for something terrible. If you can hear me and understand me, then you shouldn't come to me at all or call me here ever again. Otherwise, I'll kill you. Whoa. What was that just now? I can't believe what I saw. This is definitely not a dream, is it? Maybe I'm just dreaming all this? And do I need to wake up? Wake up, JJ. This is all not real and impossible. Wake up now. Hmm, it's like a dream. Wake up, JJ. Mm. Whoo, everything is fine with them, which means that most likely I just dreamed it all. How good it is, such a relief. I think I should go and tell Mikey about this. Most likely, he has already woken up and we can meet. How nice the weather is today. Hey, Mikey, you won't believe what I dreamed. JJ and Mikey, it's good that you've already woken up because we have to go and investigate a murder. I need you to gather evidence. This is all very serious, and I would have done everything myself. But this murder was as strange as possible. As you can see, there is a knife and traces of blood here, but I did not find a single trace on the knife, or even that this guy was stabbed. Here's a marker for you. Try to think about it. All right, officer. I think it's time for us to work today. Most likely, this knife is evidence number one. If Officer Adam says that this murder was not from a knife, then the question is, where did this knife come from or who brought it? And the traces of blood are most likely the blood of this victim. We'll have to send it for examination and study what could have happened to him. In total, we have only three clues. 
I think that should be enough to suggest that it was murder. But if it was done by a man, then how? It is possible that he fell from a high place. I think we should go home and think about it properly and write to Officer Adam about what we found and what we think. We'll just have to write a report about it and that's it. What do you think, Mikey? Wait for me. I want to give you something because my dream was extremely scary and terrible today. That's why I want you to be able to protect yourself and your family. That's why I'll give you this weapon. I know that you already have one, but it won't be superfluous. Especially since some kind of maniac is walking in our village now. Okay, I get you. Thanks for that. I'll see you tomorrow. What kind of dream did he tell me about? Maybe he dreamed the same thing as me? Then how does he know about this monster? <sighs> huh? It seems like this is just some kind of mockery. I even know who's calling me. The same number again. Hello, it's JJ. And I know you want to kill me, and you better come and do it now, because it's just a dream. Hello? Have you been listening to me? Or didn't you? <gasps> no, this is definitely just bullying. Now I won't feel sorry for you. If I see you, I'll shoot you in the same second. How arrogant you are. Did you think I wouldn't notice how you broke my window? Are you kidding? Where did you run off to? Come back, you stupid monster. What is it? It seems you didn't like it, or are you just a cowardly dog? Oh no, I don't seem to have many bullets left. This is terrible. But if this is all a dream, then I can't hold back. Where are you, a monster? Come to me again. Oh my god, I'm out of bullets. That's it. You can do whatever you want in my house. I'm not gonna do anything. What a nightmare. I can't believe it wasn't a dream and I let this monster into my house. Oh no, it seems that this happened not only in my house, but also at Mikey's house. I need to go and check on him right now because it's a nightmare. JJ, where have you been? While you were gone, Officer Adam said that some kind of monster did it. It has a very strange name. I didn't even understand what it was. But we know where this monster has gone. But the question is, where did you go all night? I knew what kind of monster it was, but all this time I thought it was just a dream, and so I decided to get out. But it turned out that it was all true. For that now I will not give this monster a single chance to survive. Uh -huh. oh. 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 Uh. Huh? Hi, dude. Would you like to come to my place? I've created a stove here. Ha 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 ha. we're deep in this well and we still have no way back therefore we are only moving forward i think i heard that there should be a chest of weapons in this place that we can take to kill that monster it's good that you listened to officer adam and now we have not only weapons but also armor with which we can easily withstand any attack from this monster you're right but there are too many of these monsters here for one therefore I think it will not be as easy as we think. Moreover, it is very disgusting to be here. And besides, it's very scary. So let's try to kill all these monsters and take our family out of their trap. Whew, how they stink! It seems to me that it's not these monsters that stink, but this guy who is sitting here in prison. I don't even know which is worse. These monsters or these guys who are sitting in this place? JJ, let's move on. I think I heard Mikey Jr. screaming. And I can understand why he's crying. Have you seen the faces of these monsters? It's just a nightmare. Portion said him that he'll like then when he wakes up. Ha 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 ha. So, before I forget, I need to do the same with Mikey. Because they are still best friends and so that they cannot become big together, I need to make them both small. I hope Mikey you get small fast and I can crush you. Well, as long as this potion works, I have plenty of time to get a sp Huh? What kind of nightmare is this? Am I not in a dream? Why did I become so small? 
I'm literally one inch long. I think I can get out of here now. I hope everything is fine with Mikey. JJ, I've become super small too. I don't believe it happened by accident. What are we going to do now? We can probably get out of here since no one will see us anyway. Hmm? JJ, maybe we can go into this stone? I don't remember it being here. Let's go in and find out what's there. Mm-hmm. All right. Hmm? Mm. Huh? Huh? JJ, there seem to be stone guards here who are not very happy that we came here. I think we'll have to deal with them. I see that chest over there. To open this, we need to kill all these guards. What should I do with it? They're so weak, even if I'm so small. This does not mean that I will lose to you so easily. Mikey, where are you? Help me finish off the remaining stone guards. What? You've already dealt with them. Why do you need me? Let's go see what's in this chest. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh... Some potions. What are we going to do about it? Of course, let's try to throw it at ourselves. Stop, JJ. You're not serious, are you? You don't want to throw unknown potions at us, do you? I've already done it. As you can see, it even helped us. Let's get out of here soon. I can't believe we'll be able to find more potions like this. For example, this workbench. Do you see a door here? I think we should go inside. What are we waiting for? JJ, there are a lot of worms here. It's time we killed them too. Just do it yourself. I don't want to touch these worms. They're so disgusting. I hate them. JJ, don't let them get to me. How difficult it is with you. Well, there's nothing you can do. I'll have to kill you myself. Mikey, I think it's time for you to overcome your fear of these worms. Don't you want to do it? I could have thrown a couple in your direction. What? Don't do this. Then I'll just die of fright. And you don't want that, do you? Of course I don't want to. Duff, we better open the chest and there will be a bunch more potions lying there. Which of course we use. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. Mikey, these potions really work. I think it's time for us to look for more. That's why we need to get out of here and get out of jail and look for more of the same potions. Do you think we can get out of here very easily? Just like we did from the camera? Let's check if this guard is watching the place. Hmm? JJ, he's sleeping. Therefore, it will not be a problem for us to get out of the way. Just do it quietly so as not to wake him up. Mm-hmm. Just a little more and we will finally be free. How good it is! Oh, and now where can we find those potions that will help us grow in size? I don't know, but we have to go all over the village to figure it out. Although I see that you know something, I can't believe it's going to be so easy. All we need to do is find the key to the chest that will hold the potions. Then we're getting started right now. Of course. JG, now that we're small, we'll be able to dig much faster than if we were much bigger than we are now. Mm-hmm. But where is this key? Hmm? How lucky we are. I found the key. Let's open this chest and find potions that will help us. Yep. Hey, hey! And we were lucky! These potions were right here! Mikey, now stand close to me and I'll throw these potions! JJ, now we seem to have become a normal size! It's so good! Now it's time for us to find another way to find these potions! Maybe we even know how to do it! Let's go to that mine! Maybe we could make money on these potions! Let's check it out! We are almost at this mine! Hmm? Mine potions! I think we should just dig up this potion! But how are we supposed to do this? Will there be an ore that will contain these potions or what? That's why we came here to check it out. That's why let's dig up all the ore that is here. Moreover, there are so many diamonds here. And the extra money will be just right for us. I think you're right. But I don't see any differences between these ores. Hmm? What's with this ore? I think it's moving. Mikey, beat this ore. Uh -huh. <laughs> JJ, it worked! Now I have these potions! Come here and I'll throw it all at us, and then we'll become even more than ordinary people! Great! It sounds so good that I can't even believe it! What are you waiting for? Drop everything you have! Mm hmm? Hmm! Mikey! Is that you? Why do I see some kind of bully in front of me? Do I look the same? How cool is that? You look the same! That's why we can beat anyone! I can't believe it either! Now we need to find a way to find another such potion! And then we will become stronger. Kill the potion? It sounds so strange, but I think it sounds like the truth. Let's find this potion and let's kill it. Mikey, it seems that this potion is right here. Beat this potion. We need to become stronger. Hey, this potion doesn't look like the others. I really wonder what will happen to us when we use these potions. Beat these potions. It's pretty cool. It's not going to be that easy. Where are you running off to? You can't run far from us anyway. 
We really want to become stronger, so we won't leave you alone until we beat you. Isn't that right, Mikey? Hmm? Hmm. JJ, I told you that these potions are not like everyone else. There are some side effects here, but we don't care about that, do we? That's why I threw all these potions at us. Sheesh! Mikey, I feel like I've become too strong. I can breathe fireballs out of my mouth. It's just incredibly cool. Let's destroy this whole village for what they did to us? I can't believe that you all decided that we were to blame for all your problems and sent us to prison. We have decided that we will not forgive you for what you have done. Mikey, destroy everything you see in your path. To be more precise, anything in this village. Of course we do it. JJ, don't you think this has become too easy for us? After all, we could only dream about it before.